We're going to make some duct tape pens for um, kind of a cabin fever project. These will brighten up your desk when you're sick of looking at the snowbanks. For this craft, you'll need duct tape in various colors, a ballpoint pen and an X-Acto knife. It's also helpful to work on a um, gridded mat here that's not a really shiny one, so you can put your tape right down on it and, um, and cut right there. You could also tear your tape, but I find it's so much easier just to cut it. Cut about a five inch piece of green duct tape. The other colors will need to be cut into longer strips. I like to start with about um, a foot to 18, 18 inches of tape of these main colors. I can always cut more after, but I don't like to waste it because it can be kind of expensive. Lindsay says the solid colored tapes are cheaper than the patterns, so if you're doing several crafts with kids, you may want to opt for the cheaper of the two. Next, cut the duct tape into inch and a half pieces. I just slice it right with an X-Acto knife. If you end up with any pieces that are too small, don't worry. You can use them for filling in later. And I'm not being that precise. I'm just kind of slicing and dicing here. Little piece of yellow. And you're going to put it over the end of your pen that is not the pointy end. This is on the back end of the pen. Before getting into the flower making, though, there's a step to make your life easier. Fold the corners in so you make kind of like a little point with your duct tape. So you'll end up with a sticky strip on the bottom and then you'll end up with this, this point. Go ahead and do that with each strip of tape until all of your colors are done. You just want to wrap the, uh, the petal around and since you have that little layer of sticky on the bottom, it's gonna stay put. So that's why we folded it the way we did. Keep adding so the points are alternating between each other. Lindsay says to keep in mind where you add them to create a larger, more open flower. Now cut your green tape strip, cutting off the extra and wrapping the tape around the pen so it's lined up with where the pen starts to change shape. You probably won't be able to fit a cap on after, but you can use the leftover green tape to cut out leaves. I'm just gonna stick these. It's just gonna kinda cover up some of the areas that aren't so neat on the barrel. Once that's done, your flower pen is complete. In Orrington, I'm Aaron Thomas for ABC7 and Fox 22.